Hey everybody, Jamie Lee here from Bird Tricks. And last year I made a New Year's resolution to gift my birds, actually at Christmas time is when I did it. My gift to my birds was a brand new setup. It was also a gift to myself to be able to just do better. As you guys know, I lost my mail galah. <sighs> a while back now, and ever since I lost him, since there was no uh, reason given to me medically of why he passed away, I have just made it my mission to do better each and every year with the care of my birds. And so with that came my new trailer. So I'm gonna take you on tour of our brand new traveling trailer for our parrots, as well as my new studio and my new quarantine room with two aviaries. So I will tell you all the details, my checklists, why I got what I got, what's in each setup, and all the companies and brands that I used to do it. So here it goes, check it out. Okay, so first, let's start with the travel trailer. I've met a lot of people, especially my free flight students, who now want to equip a trailer and wanna know all the details of what we did, the cages that we used, why we chose the ones that we did, and everything that we did to our travel trailer to make it awesome and self-reliant on the road. So, let's check out the trailer. So for starters, I just wanna warn you guys that we have had our share of travel trailers for our birds, big and small, had different traveling carriers of all sizes, all different things going on, and we finally have found our 2021 version of it all and something that we feel really, really proud of. Our trailer is a 12 foot cargo trailer. It is just a general cargo trailer. It started with nothing in it. We made everything inside that you see. Now we had this trailer fully insulated, which was a major game changer for traveling on the road and maintaining the temperature inside the trailer. We do have plenty of vents in this trailer as well. And we have done skylights in the past that we definitely regretted due to leaks. So we don't have any windows or skylights or anything like that in this trailer, but we do have a nice lighting system. The cool thing about our lights in the trailer is that they run off of battery. It doesn't have to be plugged into anything in order to give the birds light, which is pretty fantastic when you have a nine hour drive day. A couple of my must haves as far as our setup goes is a thermostat to tell you the temperature of the trailer. This is a must. I also put a baby monitor, yes, a camera, a <laughs> live feed where I can see what the temperature is in case I want to know that it has dropped or gone up significantly, then I can change the air conditioning and or heat system. So yes, that brings me to my next thing. This entire trailer does have both AC and heat. It can run off of a generator, which is attached to the front, and the generator is a dual generator, so it can take both gas and propane, which has really saved us in a lot of places, and just made it so that we don't rely on being able to plug in somewhere. One of my other favorite things about this trailer setup is the little mini fridge. Now, this mini fridge was actually thrown out by a hotel because it freezes instead of refrigerates, which was perfect for me because I keep all my seasonal feeding in there and I like to keep my seasonal feeding system frozen until I thaw it for use. So we actually travel with one of those ice chests that you can plug into your car and we use that for refrigerated goods and then we use this little mini fridge and we actually Actually, it's just a little freezer, but it's one of my favorite aspects of our trailer. 
Now you may notice that all of the cages have clamps on them and that is so that trays don't go sliding out while we are in motion. So if you notice all those clamps, that's what they are there for. When we're parked and staying somewhere for a while, we can take those clamps off. And for this trailer setup, we went finally for all stainless steel cages and a huge thank you and shout out to Preview who made this completely possible. Their cages are beautiful and one of my favorite things about their design, especially for the larger cages that we use for macaws that are on the right, um, we like cages for traveling that are tall so that macaw tails do not get dirty and gross and broken up uh, during travel. So we really like cages that are on the taller side, like longer than they are wide, for travel specifically to keep the bird's feathers looking nice. The other thing we really like about these is that all the feeding stations are on the front of the cage and so we don't have to sacrifice space to be able to feed the birds and they each have two dishes off of these cage designs, which I absolutely love. Now the ones on the left we weren't as lucky with as far as that design goes, those feeding stations are on the left side of those cages. So all except for the one on the very far side, we do have to go in through the front and change those dishes. But we were able to change our feeding system in the fact that we put in these rotating feeders where we can twist the cup off and pull it off and we got all stainless steel dishes as well. The next cage I wanna talk about is our cage that's actually four small cages all in one. This is from A&E Company and I really love this again because all the feeding stations are right out the front on a rotating feeding system, plenty of dishes, and the other cool thing is the storage underneath. So that's usually where I keep travel carriers or lots of pellets and things like that since we're using airtight containers to travel with our pellets. Uh, we also bring our own bedding because a lot of the places we stay are just little cabins and you kind of have to bring your own pillows and <laughs> blankets and all the things. Um, we keep all of our own newspaper in here, trash bags, extra water for all of the birds, treats. I have my aloe in here. I have blueberries seed mix in here, plenty of toys, our treat bags, our camera bags. All the things are in the trailer and all have a spot to be. So I try to include everything. As you'll notice, our first aid kit, extra dishes, in case there's nowhere to wash, wash dishes at the moment. I always try to stock paper towels, baby wipes, all the cleaning things that I may need. Well, I hope you guys absolutely love seeing the travel trailer and hopefully I answered almost all the questions that you would have had. The game changer for me is really having our own generator. That saved us because in a lot of places we haven't been able to plug into power, which is a big bummer when you're worried about temperature of your birds. Another cool thing about the travel trailer is that we never have to worry about where we stay if they accept pets or not because we know that we're fully equipped to handle our own animals. And luckily at some of the spots that do allow pets, we can bring them in in their travel carry. So it kind of makes it awesome. I also make sure to bring a huge spray bottle and plenty of aloe so that on our flight trips I can give our birds a bath and make sure that they feel just as taken care of on the road as they do when I'm at home. Okay, so let's move on to the new studio. I'm so excited for you guys to see our new studio. We have used it for a couple videos already. We're mostly using it to produce new courses and then there's the quarantine room. So come check it out. All right. This is where we film a lot of our Patreon videos. This is where we do our podcasts. This is for our green screen stuff. And then we even have backgrounds back here. More stuff. The studio is definitely Dave's brain baby. He came up with all the little nuances that we needed in the studio when it came to lighting and different curtains and all the things that are in there are definitely of his mindset uh, because he is really the producer behind a lot of our videos and all of our courses. So the studio is pretty awesome. Now the cool thing about the studio is attached to the studio is our quarantine room is what I'm calling it. Uh, I had it painted blue to feel nice and airy 
It has a big garage door that slides up and lets all the air, fresh, fresh air in. And I can actually wheel these custom aviaries right out onto the deck that I had built off of the studio. Now this is probably my favorite part because it allows the birds to get nice sunshine and sunlight and it makes it easier for me to get into that studio and clean. So I can really do a better job when those aviaries aren't in there. So the aviaries in my quarantine room are my new favorite aviaries. They were built by Corners Limited and I am obsessed with them. They are six foot by six foot by seven foot tall and Corners Limited was able to powder coat them black for me, install the rotating feeding system that I'm obsessed with and have in my other aviaries. So I actually mailed them those systems and they cut the aviaries to size and everything and put them and fitted them in there. So huge shout out to Corners Limited. They really do customize to what exactly what you want. The other cool thing that they did for me is I asked if they could mimic what I did on my other aviaries that I used to push in and out of my garage space and put these aviaries on wheels and they went above and beyond. They got awesome casters. These aviaries are so easy to move around. They wheel effortlessly and I couldn't be happier with them. If you guys are looking for custom built aviaries, definitely check out Corners Limited. They go above and beyond. Their customer service is fantastic and they're just good people. And I really enjoy teaming up with companies whom I've met the personal people of the company and just believe in what they do and believe in the people that they are. So Corners Limited is definitely that for me. You guys should definitely check them out if you are interested in any sort of outdoor or indoor aviary, especially if you want it custom because they can pretty much do anything. All right guys, I hope you enjoyed this tour of some of my newest setups. I'm sure you'll be seeing them in future videos as I share birds transformations with you that have to do with these different setups of mine. And hopefully these answered all of the questions that you may have. If you're interested in any of the products that you see in my videos, such as the bird toys, the bird pellets, the bird food, all of that can be found on my website at birdtricks.com.